Hi, I'm Michelle Bega with a look at what's happening in Latin America now. But first, our news trivia. In which Latin American country does the president refuse to use his presidential jet and instead now rents it out for parties? We'll have the answer later. Mexico is mourning the horrific death of a young woman in the northern city of Monterrey. The body of Debony Escobar, an 18-year-old law student, was found lifeless and submerged in a water tank. Protests have started across the country calling it femicide and saying it needs to stop. My colleague in Mexico, Al Baverstock, has more on this story. That's right, Michelle. The discovery of Debani Escobar's body has caused outrage, not only due to the gruesome nature of her disappearance and murder, but for the fact that events like this are more common than ever in Mexico. Last year saw more than a thousand femicides across the country and impunity rates above 95%. The 18-year-old was the 327th young woman to have been reported missing in her home state of Nuevo León this year. And rather than the police, who had all but called off their search, it was local citizens who found the body. In the aftermath of the tragedy, which has not resulted in any arrests so far, activists are seeking greater protections for Mexican women in order to ensure her death was not in vain. Beginning May 1st, Colombia will no longer require face masks in enclosed public spaces. The decision to lift the measure to fight COVID-19 was announced this week by the government. Vaccination cards will no longer be needed to enter restaurants, bars and concerts. The government says the rolled back requirement will take effect in regions of the country where 70% of the population is vaccinated with two doses. Ya tenemos más del 83% de los colombianos con al menos una dosis. Y estamos a muy pocos días de llegar al 70% de nuestro país con doble dosis. Pero adicionalmente, tenemos 11.2 millones de colombianos con dosis de refuerzo. Nicaragua has officially withdrawn from the Organization of American States. The foreign minister announced the closure of the offices in the capital city. The credentials of its representatives are being rescinded in Washington. The decision to withdraw from the bloc was made last November when the OAS condemned Daniel Ortega's re-election for a fourth consecutive term. And now let's take a look at what stories we're following for next week. First, we're following the containment and cleanup efforts on the beaches of the Galapagos Islands. A tourist boat filled with diesel fuel sank over the weekend off the coast of Ecuador's protected wildlife reserves. No people were injured, but at least 2,000 gallons of diesel were spilled in the waters around Santa Cruz Island. That could cause harm to wildlife. And second, in Argentina, we're following protests by farmers in the capital city. They're demonstrating against President Alberto Fernandez's policies. The government is trying to contain food prices to curb rampant inflation. Taxes are being levied on wheat, corn and meat exports to prioritize domestic supply. But farmers are rejecting the taxes and the limits imposed on the agricultural sectors. And now the answer to our news trivia. The answer is C. Mexico's President Andrés Manuel López Obrador has been flying commercial since he took office. He believes the presidential jet is an unnecessary luxury and an expensive one too. The president has now decided to rent out the Boeing 787 for private parties. His administration hasn't been able to find a buyer willing to pay the asking price of the jet, which is roughly $130 million. And that's it for this week. We'll see you again soon on Latin America Now.